One of the most time-consuming aspects of email creation is constantly building and then rebuilding standardized, repeatable content in each email you create. Like designing the same footer every time you create a new transactional email for your business. Now imagine having a piece of reusable content that can be saved and or synchronized and updated across every design. Well, with BeFree, you can do just that with saved rows. In this video, we'll explain what saved rows are explore the difference between standard and synced rows, and finally guide you through the process of effortlessly creating and using both standard and synced rows in BeFree. This will make saving, reusing, and updating content in your designs a breeze. First, let's explain what a saved row is. Saved rows are like pre-packaged design sections you can save for later use in the builder. Within these rows, you have the creative freedom to blend elements such as text, images, or buttons aligning them with your unique preferences or brand guidelines. It saves you time by letting you reuse parts of your design and other pieces of content without having to rebuild them every time. Now, there are two types of saved rows, standard rows and synced rows. Let me explain the difference. Standard rows are saved rows that you can store and use later. You can edit standard rows without altering other designs where this row exists. A synced row is a type of saved row that automatically syncs any changes you make to any instance of that row across your designs. This means you won't have to update each version manually when changes are needed. Simply update it once and enjoy consistent content across all your marketing materials. Now that we know the difference between standard and synced rows, let's show you how to create and use both in the editor. So here I am working on a booking confirmation email for a company that lets you make online reservations at your favorite restaurants. Now, there are some great row candidates in this email that could be used as a saved row, such as our logo header or double columned featured meal images and our footer, which includes our social media links. Now, let's say we want to save our logo header so we can use it in other marketing assets. All we need to do is click on the row and hit this save icon. We can give our row a name, let's call it logo header, and then choose where to save it. To add a new category, we can simply type something in the text field and click add category. But for now, let's save it in my saved rows. Now comes the most important part, where we decide to save the row as either standard or synced. So let's save this one as a standard row. Okay, great. Now, how do we find it? Well, we can find our rows library by navigating to rows in the right sidebar, selecting the drop down, and clicking My Saved Rows. And just like that, I can find the logo header row I just saved along with all of my other saved rows I've stored over time. If I want to use it, I can just drag it into my design like any other row. Now, let's say one day I become unhappy with my design and want to tweak it. No problem. We can make those changes to our saved row in the editor, click save again, and then select update. And just like that, your saved row has been replaced in your library with your latest design. Alternatively, if we want to edit the name or category of a previously saved row, we can head to rows, my saved rows, find the row that we're looking for, click on the three dots, edit details, and then you'll be prompted with the same pop-up window we just showed you, where you can modify your row's details and then update them. Now, here's what it's like to create and use synced rows. In this example, we want to make our footer a synced row. Again, that means if we modify it at any point, it will automatically update in all other designs where it's used. So let's select the row, hit save. We'll call this footer. Select Synced, and then Save again. Awesome. We've successfully turned our footer into a synced row. Now, how do we know this worked? Well, we just need to hover over our footer, where we can see that it is in fact labeled as a synced row. If we navigate to Rows, and then My Saved Rows, we can clearly see that our footer is stamped with the synced symbol as well. It's important to note that synced rows are saved by default in the same folder as your standard rows, which again is called My Saved Rows. Now, when you select a row, different options appear in the row toolbar depending on the type of row. 
With unsaved rows or standard rows, you'll see a save icon here. With synced rows, however, you'll have the ability to edit your row using this edit icon. Now, if we try to select content blocks within a synced row, we'll be shown a pop-up telling us this content is locked, and so we can't make any changes to it. That's because content within synced rows can only be modified by selecting these two buttons here. So let's click on Edit the Synced Row. Here, we're prompted to make a decision. We can edit and update our row everywhere it's used, or we can unsync this row and turn it back into a standard row, where any edits will only affect this particular instance of the design. Now, it's important to remember that unsyncing a row does not automatically save this new version into your library, so you'll need to save it again to do so. Let's go with Edit and Update Everywhere. Okay, perfect. Now we can freely edit our synced row. Once we've made our changes and are happy with them, we can hit save in the top right corner. To give you some extra peace of mind, considering that any updates to synced rows could have a big impact on your work, we've added this screen here, which shows you how many designs are using the synced row. You can even click on them to see exactly what they are. Once we're satisfied with our decision to proceed with all the changes, all we need to do is hit Update All, and BeFree will sync and reflect these changes across all those designs. BeFree also offers a row library outside of the builder, where you can easily see all of your saved and synced rows at a glance. Just head to the Library tab in the top navigation bar. Under Rows, you'll be able to differentiate between your synced and standard saved rows by its label. When it comes to deleting saved rows, you can bulk delete standard rows by clicking these boxes here and selecting Delete. However, you can't bulk delete synced rows. Instead, they must be deleted individually by clicking the three dots and selecting Delete. This precaution helps avoid unintended deletions that could impact multiple designs at once. All right, that brings us to the end of this video. To recap, there are two types of saved rows. Standard rows, which can be reused without affecting other designs when edited, and synced rows, which automatically update all instances of that row across your designs. We hope this video has equipped you with the knowledge to fully take advantage of saved rows, helping you save time, increase efficiency, and keep your designs consistent across projects. Thanks for watching.